Hi guys, I just got back from New York and I am absolutely exhausted. I was so incredibly happy to be home though. I've missed New York so much since I moved. Today we marched to end all slaughterhouses in the state of New York. We marched from 42nd and 5th all the way down to Union Square where we had a brief die-in. Following, we walked down to Washington Square Park and we did a Cube of Truth, which was a whole ton of fun. We had a great turnout. I just have a few cliff notes from today and figured I would share my thoughts and opinions for those of you who are interested in activism or for those of you who are activists and just need maybe a little guidance. A minor incident happened during our Cube of Truth that I wanted to bring a little light to for those of you who are out there hitting the streets and have to deal with people who may be resistant or causing problems while you're trying to spread your activism. First of all, there was a man over yonder and I guess we were stepping on his turf by being in the area that he was in. He was trying to panhandle money and he was very unhappy about us being out there. He was already causing a big scene and against us and it was fine you know whatever we just continued our cube of truth and then a little bit later a man showed up with a raw fish and he just started biting in and just started eating this fish which caused a lot of attention and ruckus i think it is really important when you're doing activism as hard as it may be to just not give any tip of attention. People acting or reacting to it with abhorrence and disgust, it's only validating his cause and his intention and why he was out there. In my opinion, I feel like the best approach would be to just completely ignore it. Not say anything, not look at him, not mm, no awes, no disgust, just like he's not even there at all. I feel like if everyone were to be able to respond that way in unison, he just wouldn't get what he came out to do. He wouldn't be validated and then eventually he would go away. Say he were to get a little bit more aggressive about it because he was irritated that there wasn't a response or tried to do something more, then just keep ignoring it. He's gotta go away eventually. Plus a lot of times there's local police where if he really got out of control, you could have the police intervene, um, which did have to happen today. Another very important thing that I want to point out, I completely understand as an avid vegan who does it for the animals, it is incredibly hard sometimes when you are so passionate. It can be hard not to be reactive or impatient, but I think it is very important to listen to the person you're engaging with, allow them time to talk and just say whatever they need to say even if you think it's absurd just allow them to talk be patient with them be understanding really engage get a feel for what they're saying try not to react with just kind of let them have their time let them talk it through and then usually or hopefully ideally they will give you that same respect back when you want to talk and make a point it's a lot easier to have an actual valid conversation where you're engaging with a person and they want to listen to you when you're not getting reactive. It can be incredibly tough, like I said, but nobody really responds well to anger. Nobody really responds well to a negative experience. And if you want to have a lasting impact for people, you want to give them a good experience where they felt like, oh, you know, that person actually was really understanding. And I always thought vegans were kind of crazy and extreme but you know they're changing my perception because they were actually pretty cool they were understanding they let me talk we said our point so we had a good conversation versus if you're just getting worked up and you're getting angry and you're like aren't you dumb can't you see it this way what how can you not understand then they're gonna be like well i don't want to talk to you they're gonna get reactive their whole body language is gonna change and they're gonna remember that as a terrible experience and they're gonna say Vegans are crazy. These people are not with it or whatever. So you definitely want to leave a positive, lasting impression. And easier said than done. And we're all human. There's times where you just lose it and that's fine. That's fine. But just try your best to really respond positively because that's how you change minds. That's how you get 
people on board. You want to give each other mutual respect. You want to understand them and try to connect with them and be like, okay, well, maybe you're conditioned to think this way and I, I'm looking to try to pull you this way. Do you think maybe you can work with me? And people are tend to respond a lot better to that. So keep a smile on your face. I think it's great when I'm doing activism. I like to keep it a little lighthearted and joke around sometimes because when, I mean, this is a dark, terrible subject so it's really heavy and it's really intense and I think it can evoke a lot of guilt in people or anger and flare-ups so if you can joke around a little bit and just kind of get a feel for them if there's somebody who's like receptive to that then I definitely recommend it because they're more likely to see you as just another human and they're more likely to kind of find you funny or maybe like your personality and listen to you more. Today I was joking around with a guy and he was kind of saying like oh well it's not sustainable to be vegan like you can't really live you can't and i was like well look i'm a living example of somebody who's vegan and alive and i was like you know look at me i'm pretty healthy i'm energetic and i'm like i'm pretty cute too and he you know he got a little kick out of that and he was like all right all right and then he wanted to like you know, he saw me as a human being. It's like, oh, she's somebody I can talk to and kind of like joke around with. And he would throw a few jokes my way, I'd throw them back, and we just kind of engaged, you know? So definitely try your best to give people a chance. Be personable, be knowledgeable, but also willing to move around a bit. Be malleable, because if you want them to be malleable, you have to be too. It's very important. That's just my opinion, that's my two cents on an effective way to be active. Always be inclusive, even if you are somebody who has zero tolerance for these things. You will never get somebody on board with what you're trying to change. You will never get somebody to work with you if you are closed off to them. If you're shutting them down, you're not even giving them the opportunity to think, reconsider, change. And sometimes people seem solid as a rock and they're not gonna change their mind. But you'd be surprised when you plant a seed and you give it some time and you step back and you let them do some of their own critical thinking and you don't push them too much, you'd be surprised at how many people will loop back around and be like, you know, I don't engage again or I wanna talk again, I have another idea about it. And you'll see that a lot of people will start to change their mind about it. Anyway, I'm about to fall asleep sitting in this chair, so time to go to bed. Thanks for watching my video. Like and subscribe. I'm the wander-loving vegan, Katia Howard. I will try to post soon and catch up with you guys next time. Bye.